Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the way that I'm able to quickly change my video settings on my Canon EOS R with the tap of just one button. So I always find myself in a situation where I'm recording a documentary film with my EOS R and the subject is doing something that would be really cool if filmed in slow motion. Then they just talk to me about what they're doing and I wanna film it at a regular 24 FPS. a lot of people that I've lost, man, that are no longer here, by the hundreds that are no longer here because of the complication with heroin. Then they go along to show me some detail of something they're building or something that I want to zoom in or crop in on and get a little bit more reach from my lens. Usually I have to go into the menu to switch between those three modes, but today I'm going to be showing you how you can switch between slow motion 120 FPS and normal 1080p mode and a zoomed in crop mode for all those detail shots, all with the tap of just one button on your EOS R. It all has to do with this custom function button on the front of the camera and the three custom video modes. This camera lets you save custom video modes to your C1, C2, and C3 slots. Now your C3 slot is what's used when recording video when you're in photo mode. So if you're in photo mode and you tap on the video button, it'll record the settings saved in your C3 slot. So let's start by making the C3 slot on normal video mode. So our 1080p, 60 FPS. So the first thing you do is make sure you're in manual mode, then select a shutter speed of 1 over 125, auto ISO, and whatever aperture you want. Also select your custom white balance and your custom picture profile as well. Now, let's save that into our C3 slot of the camera by going into the custom video modes, and then C3, and then save. Now let's map our C1 to be our 120 FPS by going into the menu and selecting high speed recording. Then we wanna save that into our C1 slot. And the last thing we wanna do is save our C2 slot as the 4K 24 frames per second, which will give us that punched in crop that people don't like on the EOS R, but I look at it as more of an advantage. So go into your menu, select 4K, and then go to your video settings, save that into your C2 slot. Now, with all these mapped out, the secret to this trick is being able to switch between them very quickly. The way that we're gonna get this to work is to go into our menu, go into our custom buttons, and for video mode, we wanna select our manual function button on the front of the camera to be the one that changes the video modes. And that's it. That makes it so that tapping this one button will change between slow motion 120fps, regular 1080p, and punched in 4K. Here's a small clip of something that I put together just playing with my kids using this technique. Basically, I'm just standing where I'm standing. I'm not really moving, but I'm also changing all these modes on the fly really quickly. It's a one! You see it? Now there are some caveats that you should be aware of when using this technique. First of all, this camera shoots 120 FPS without sound and without autofocus. Why Canon? I have no idea, but it is, it's just the way it is. So when I switch to this mode, I also switch the focus to manual and I use the focus guide to align my focus. I thought this would be super annoying, but in reality, after a while, it's very easy to get used to it. Also, if you wanna change your white balance or picture profile, you have to update all the slots. Typically, I do this right when I get on location to shoot something. I'll check the white balance and I'll update it in one slot. Then I'll update the other two and I'll update them there too. 
What you don't want is varying picture profiles and varying white balances being shot across your footage because this is going to be a pain in the butt to change in post. Hopefully this video was helpful. I found the EOS R in general to be very dependable, super reliable, and just a workhorse. It's always working, never gives me a hard time, and just really solid performer. I also found that just being able to switch between the modes very quickly allows me to be more creative and get more shots and more options in the editing room when I have to edit my footage. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.